Oh, it's a very good high. The appeal is obvious. Get high without getting in trouble. I might go out on lunch and uh, of course supervisor will know about it and um, it's legal. There's nothing that can be done. Wait, what did he just say? Of course supervisor will know about it. It's legal. There's nothing that can be done. Am I under the influence? Yes. They can't stop me. That is a bold statement, even coming from a grown man, but it is the truth. Scott Davis isn't breaking any law. Problem is, neither are these guys. Raise your hand if you smoke K2. Brendan Bounds is 14 years old. His friend's not much older. It was just really scary. Even the most vigilant parent sometimes is not going to know. Brendan swears he only smoked K2 once. I was thinking like I was too high. He was in the hospital overnight and still six weeks out, he's still having dizzy spells and irregular heartbeat of 150 beats a minute and it's without warning. And I have to go to a cardiologist and stuff now. All of these guys admit to having a weird reaction to K2. My head was heating up and my heart was racing. That won't, however, stop them or their friends from using it. Do you think it's really popular in high school? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so easy to get. Like, the only reason it's hard to get is whenever they're sold out. Pam Sampson sells K2, as well as similar products like Texas Gold and Bluegrass. I'm starting to feel like the K2 queen in Springfield. She won't sell it to anyone under 18, but she does stand behind K2. A lot of people tell me it helps them to sleep. Uh, a lot of fibromyalgia patients have been in. In fact, Pam says she's collected more than a thousand signatures to keep it legal. She says that's because last year she almost had to close the store. But now the parking lot is almost always full, even before the store opens. I'm able to pay the bills now. I would rather sell this than alcohol and cigarettes. If you're not old enough to buy a pack of cigarettes, you're not old enough to smoke K2. Even Scott, the man who smokes K2 a lot, five or six times a day, believes it's not for everybody. He did, though, give it to his dad, who has cancer. He said that it was amazing of what it done for him versus the medicine that he was on. He says it's not for lawmakers to decide. I don't see any harm in it. Others, though, say leaving the decision up to people isn't a good idea either. With these kind of reactions, like what with my son had, it's only a matter of time where somebody is injured worse than my son was.